We all know that the violin is capable of producing some incredibly beautiful sounds, and also some pretty bad ones too. But if I'm a beginner, how can I learn to produce the sound that I want? Hey violinists, it's Ronnie with Let's Talk Violin. In this video, I will teach you how to create a beautiful sound on the violin in a few easy steps. Before we get started, make sure that your bow is tightened and that you've put some rosin on your bow hair. The ideal tightness for your bow should be about one to one and a half centimeters between the stick and the hair. Next, find your bow hold. Check out our video on the bow hold simplified for quick and easy tips for a perfect bow hold. All right, it's time to create a beautiful violin sound. Start by placing your bow on the E string, which is the thinnest string furthest to the right. To get the fullest and the richest sound, we will want to place all of our bow hairs on the string. Use your right thumb to rotate the bow until the hair is completely flat. Feel the natural weight of your right arm sinking into the string. Now, move the bow slowly towards the tip by opening up your right elbow. While moving the bow, keep the bow right here in the middle between the bridge and the fingerboard. We call this point of contact the sounding point. Try your best to move the bow in a straight line parallel to the bridge rather than letting it get crooked. It helps to do this in front of a mirror. Once you get to the tip, you can move the bow back towards the frog by closing your right elbow. To keep a straight and parallel bow, keep the upper arm still until you've gotten to that middle point of the bow. Then you can bring it inwards to get to the frog. When you move the bow from the frog towards the tip, it's called down bow because the hand moves downward. When you draw the bow in the other direction, from tip to frog, it's called up bow because the hand goes up. Now that you have the basics down, let's talk about the fun part, how to manipulate sound. If you want a louder sound, then you can press gently with your index finger into the bow, bringing the stick closer to the hair. Make sure to keep a relaxed thumb while you do this. The more you press into the string, the louder the sound will be. But too much pressure will result in a scratchy and squeaky sound. If this happens, simply move the bow faster to compensate for the increased weight. Not enough pressure will give you a fluffy and soft sound. If your sound is too quiet and unfocused, add a little pressure with your index finger or slow the bow down so that it grips the string better. Keep experimenting with weight and speed until you find that perfect sweet spot and achieve that beautiful tone you've always dreamed of. Here is a bulletproof checklist that will guarantee you a good sound every time. Number one, sounding point. Not too close to the bridge and not too far over the fingerboard. Number two, flat hair. Rotate your right thumb to put more of your bow hairs on the string. Number three, straight bow parallel to the bridge. Number four, right amount of weight with your index finger. Number five, correct speed of your bow. Aim for a faster speed the more weight you put into the bow. It can take a little while to get a good sound out of your violin. When I was first starting out, it did not sound good. But just with consistent practice and by following these simple steps, you will find that beautiful tone that you've always dreamed of. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep making this content. And let us know in the comments down below what other kinds of videos you would like to see. I'm Ronnie with Let's Talk Violin. Keep calm and play on, and I'll see you in the next video. You're the beautiful tone I've always dreamed of. Wow. <laughs>